Hi, my name is Nate Gilbert. I'm an attorney in San Antonio, Texas. I practice a lot of uh, LLC formation. And one of the things that I get asked a lot about is how do I change the name of my LLC or change the name of my series LLC, my PLLC, whatever it is. Uh, it's usually the same process. You want to file an amendment with Secretary of State. So you can be changing your name for uh, a lot of different reasons. Um, sometimes people want to change name. They're kind of changing how the business works. They want to do things under a different name, uh, or even they are changing from an LLC to a PLLC and changing the name of the business is part of that. Uh, you're changing from whatever it is, LLC to PLLC. So you're filing that same amendment form. So when you file that amendment with Secretary of State, you're basically amending the original certificate of formation that you filed. You can also request a restatement of the certificate of formation that reflects those changes. Uh, at the same time, there's an additional fee for doing that, um, but that is generally the process for changing your name of the LLC. You can also just file a DBA. If there's something that you want to do that's a little bit different within your business and you want to practice or do certain things under a different name, um, filing what's called a DBA or an assumed name certificate allows you to perform and basically run your business under a different name uh, for certain areas, for certain counties in Texas, whatever it is. Um, you can run your business under a, under a different name. It's a $25 filing fee for an assumed name certificate. Um, and under the business profile, when you look it up and under the old name, uh, you will pull up and it'll have all of the uh, assumed names or DBAs uh, for that particular business listed in one, one uh, place on that profile. Um, as I said, there's a myriad of reasons that you would want to change your name um, for your LLC, whatever it is, uh, but it is very simple, um, filing that certificate of amendment. Now, that's not where the process ends. If you have an operating agreement, if you have a bank account, if you have any other thing that your um, official business name is on, you'll need to change that as well. Changing your operating agreement may require um, a vote of the members. Uh, if you're a single member LLC, you still need to record uh, that corporate consent uh, to change the name of the LLC. Even if you're a single member, like I said, uh, it sounds a little silly that you need to have a member vote if you're a single member LLC, but trust me, it's, it's a good idea to do that. Uh, it goes into corporate governance um, on that kind of thing. So just remember, changing your name of your LLC, do it with Secretary of State, file the appropriate paperwork, uh, and then do it on your internal documentation as well.